lens is a piece of glass that refracts the light refraction of light which means when a light enters from one medium to another medium it bends take the example of this tank this tank is filled with water now the area around this tank is basically air so if light enters it has to go like this but instead it will slightly bends why because basically the medium is changing in this case take the example of air molecules are way away from each other so light will get enough space to pass through it water this is for water so light will take a little more time to pass through these molecules and for solid the particles are way closer to each other so they are more denser the most densest of all the mediums so the light will take the most time to pass through it and that's why the speed slows down in this case so basically when light enters from one medium to another medium its speed changes because of change in the density of the medium now coming back to the air and water example so when light was entering from air to water since water is more denser than air so instead of passing thoroughly in a straight line it will slightly bend that i can show it here now let me draw a perpendicular line to the surface this is known as normal by which we can show how much it is bending when density changes the speed of the light changes and speed of the light is directly proportional to the wavelength when speed decreases wavelength of the light gets decreased and this results in bending of the light because of change in the wavelength now coming back to the lens lens is basically piece of glass which refracts the light lenses are of two types concave lens and convex lens convex lens are also known as converging lens since they converges light to one point concave lenses are also known as diverging lens since they diverges the light in different direction they both are basically refracting the light but the direction is different one is actually converges and one is actually diverging now for ray diagram why we draw ray diagram because it will show us what will be the nature of image position of the image when we move the object now what is object what is image let we focus on that object is any object for which we want to see its image so image may be defined as the point where the light rays coming from an object meet or appears to meet from reflection or refraction because if we say the image formed by mirror so at that case the image is formed by the reflection and if i'm saying that image is formed by the lens in that case it will be formed by the refraction so either by reflection or refraction where the light rays meet or appears to meet such point is known as image now there are two types of image depending on how they have produced so a real image and a virtual image are two types of image let we see their definition so a real image is formed when the rays converges at one point whereas a virtual image occurs where rays only appear to meet at one point but they are actually diverging so first we see how the images will be formed by the convex lens so here i'm drawing the lens and let me draw a straight line which is passing through the center of the lens this is known as principal axis so principal axis is basically an imaginary line passing through the center of the lens now let me name two points here this is known as focus that is focus 1 and focus 2 so basically focus is a point where light appears to bend or actually meeting after bending that is known as focus this is 2f1 and 2f2 that is at a distance of twice the focal length so when we draw a ray diagram 
in the ray diagram the very first thing is we need to draw the principal axis now every time instead of drawing the lens we draw a straight line in case of diverging lens we draw the arrows outwards and in case of converging lens we draw the arrows pointing inwards like this this is the way of showing the convex lens when we are drawing the ray diagram now we need to draw two points f1 and f2 that is foci and 2f1 and 2f2 that are at a distance twice the focal length focal length is basically the distance of the focus from the lens now f1 f2 2f1 2f2 let me name it place the object our first case is when the object is at 2f so do we need to draw two lines well generally three lines are drawn but if you draw two lines that's more than is enough first line is parallel to the principal axis and since it's a converging lens so it converges light to focus so it will go like this so after passing through the lens it will go like this and second is when light will directly pass through the center it will not bend at all where they both intersect each other there we'll get the image so from principal axis to the point of intersection we need to draw a straight line which will give us size of the image so why light does not bend when it passes through the center of the lens that i'll explain in the next class now the nature of the image is first it's real and it's inverted and third the image will form at let we take the second case when it's in between 2f1 and f1 same draw these two lines parallel to axis bend towards focus passing through the center point of intersection will give the image and here we we'll see that the image is formed beyond the 2f so nature is real inverted beyond 2f taking the third case when object is beyond the 2f again we need to draw one line parallel to the principal axis bending towards f second line passing through the center of the lens point of intersection is in between f and 2f this is our image nature of the image is real inverted and between f and 2f now this case is when object is in between focus and the lens again same draw the line parallel to the axis passing through the focus second passing through the center of the lens but here we see they both are diverging so we need to extend it beyond the lens so that they can meet or appear to meet we are doing it it's not real it's just they are appearing that they are meeting they're not actually meeting they are diverging actually but meeting if we extend that so we'll get the image between f and 2f on the same side where object is so this kind of image is virtual image it's not a real image because the light is appearing to meet at one point they are not actually meeting at one point so nature of image is virtual erect and behind f on the same side of the object